Hi, I'm Paul Gattani. This brief presentation will cover time card confirmation configuration and time review configuration. After you figured out which employee groups will receive which time card confirmation text, you identify those employee groups in the people record. We created a user-defined field to track the attestation profile. We will put the employee group name here. And when we go to the attestation administration workspace, we will see all of the groups that are associated in employees people records in the available area. We simply move whichever employee groups we want from available to selected and define the text that those employees will see. If employees are not assigned to a group in their people record, then they will receive the default profile. The default profile must be created by you and named default. For managers, we would want to create a manager profile and different text if we wanted to show a different confirmation text when a manager was approving an employee's time card versus when an employee can approves their own time card. Now we'll talk about configuring time review. In 4.2, time review configuration is accessed from the quick links widget in the administration workspace by clicking on ATK settings. The general tab is where we handle notifications, whether or not we want to notify an employee on rejection, a manager, other, this will be a comma separated list of email addresses upon rejection, or others when approval has been removed. The common tab contains the pay code configuration. We created pay codes before installing the toolkit that would allow us to track daily and period approval and rejection. And we see those pay codes selected here. We also indicate the amount of the pay code that will be entered when the employee approves or rejects their time. We also identify the overtime pay code, whether we're showing public or private hyperfines, and which hyperfines should be used by default for the manager. What data the employee sees in time review is controlled on the audit tab. The configuration guide contains detailed information about what values you can put in the audit types field. You can use the keyword all, or you can specify which particular audits you want to show. If you have enabled, if you have checked show audits, then you can select which of the audits you would actually like to display. If you have not checked the show audits box, then none of the selections following that would actually make any difference. So you determine whether or not you want to show the user, the edited date, the edited time, or any of the data that you're displaying in the time card in the audit tab. I think of the time review tab itself in two sections. The first section generally says, what are we showing to employees? Are, are we showing the time card? Are we showing anything to the employee? In that time card, are we showing comments? Are we showing totals? Do we want to include a tab? And is that the default totals tab? Are we hiding time card exceptions? Do we show raw punches, unedited punches, so on and so forth? What periods should we show? Current, daily, previous, previous to previous pay period. Whether or not we want to show inactive days. Should we limit the number of days that is visible to the employee? All of that's configured on the time review tab, as well as whether or not we display a reject button. Now let's move on to the part two of this tab. The last part of the tab I think of, along with that display rejection button, is do you want to enable these features in time review? Do you want to show the attestation pop-up, that confirmation text, when the employee rejects? 
Are you going to ask for a reason? Are you going to ask for notes on that reason? Will a rejection require manager response? Can an employee reapprove that time? Can an employee approve sign off periods? That's available in Navigator only. And then should we restrict approval of any period that has missing punches? So that's all enabled on that bottom half of the time review tab. On the missed punch tab, we enable missed punch entry. We select which comments an employee can include in their missed punch entry, whether or not the employee can put in a free form note. Is manager approval required? Do we list missed punches? And are we showing AM, PM time on the 4500 or military time on the 4500? All of those items are configured right on the missed punch tab. Currently, time review configuration applies to all employees. We don't have time review associated to profiles yet. Time card confirmation text and my timestamp functionality is tied to profiles, but we have not yet tied time review functionality to employee profiles. We hope to be able to do that in some future release. This concludes this module.